A differential diagnosis is a list of possible diseases or conditions that could be causing a patient's symptoms. It is important to consider a wide range of possibilities in order to make the correct diagnosis and provide the best possible care for the patient. Here are three helpful mnemonics for you to nail down any differential diagnosis. The mnemonic Vindicate. V stands for vascular. I stands for infectious or inflammatory. N stands for neoplastic. D stands for degenerative. I stands for iatrogenic or intoxication. C stands for congenital. A stands for autoimmune or allergic. T stands for trauma or toxin. E stands for endocrine or metabolic. The mnemonic vitamin CDE. V stands for vascular. I stands for infectious or inflammatory. T stands for trauma or toxin. A stands for autoimmune or allergic. M stands for metabolic. I stands for iatrogenic or idiopathic. N stands for neoplastic. C stands for congenital. D stands for degenerative. E stands for endocrine. The mnemonic MISO. M stands for metabolic or endocrine. I stands for infectious or inflammation. D stands for drug or drunk. S stands for structural or seizure or shock. O stands for others or psychogenic. Here is an example of using the mnemonic Vindicate to remember the differential diagnosis for comatose patients. V vascular, such as stroke, ICH, or SAH. I infectious or inflammatory, such as meningitis, sepsis, or CNS lupus. N neoplastic, such as brain tumor or metastasis. D. Degenerative, such as Parkinson's disease or dementia. I. Iatrogenic or idiopathic, such as sedatives or anesthetics. C. Congenital, such as epilepsy with postictal coma. A. Autoimmune or allergic, such as CNS lupus or anaphylactic shock. T. Trauma or toxin, such as traumatic brain injury, alcohol, or opioids. E. Endocrine or metabolic, such as hypoglycemia, HHS, thyroid disorder, uremic encephalopathy, or electrolyte imbalance. In summary, mnemonics can be helpful in creating differential diagnosis. However, they should not be used as a substitute for medical knowledge and judgment. One should consider the most serious or life threatening diagnoses first, and be open to considering rare or unusual diagnoses. Yeah.